so hi there youtube what is up today i'll show you how to mount google drive on windows via our clone the benefit of my method compared to google file stream is that it will work as virtual drive here so in windows it will show as a local disk giving you much more accessibility to whatever you want to do in windows so the procedure is pretty simple first of all we'll make sure that we can get an api access to your google drive so we need to go to google developer console here and country and all that agree and continue after that we'll need to create some apis so let's go and select a project uh, new product we can name it anything continue after that we need to enable apis and services let's wait for it to be completed enable apis and services we need to enable the google drive api enable and after we have enabled that, we need to create some credentials. So waiting. Okay, the API is created. Oh, let's go back to our developer console. Now we'll create some credentials to get this going. Create credentials, auth, client ID, configure consent screen. Okay, so we can name it anything. Let's name it our drive hashtag socialist. Create ad scope. Oh. Let's see, let's see. We need to enable the scope called auth slash drive. Add save. Okay, <clears throat> now we can create some credentials. Create credentials or auth client ID. Here yeah, I'll choose desktop app. We can name it anything. Socialism. okay now here is our client id and this is our client secret so basically what we have done here is given <coughs> enabled some api access to our google drive we need to create these credentials so that only we can log into the google drive so next step is we need to download our clone uh, you can download it and after it's finished downloading we'll need to create this folder called local disk c and our clone and here what we'll do is we will unzip everything in this folder of course i've already unzipped here so there's no need to unzip it again we take this and unzip all of this here okay now the next step is we need to open powershell as admin so let's do that powershell run as administrator now i will enter the directory to go to the directory we use a command called cd cdc slash rclone now we are in a rclone directory so what we need to do is we need to configure this google api into our rclone so the command for this is uh, dot slash rclone dot exe config so I have already created some other drives which I did use normally. So let's create a new remote N. Let's name it Socialist Forever. So we are working with Google Drive here with Google Drive here. 13. Story is number 13. So what we'll do is we'll copy this client ID and then paste it here and then we'll use this client secret again paste it here 
and here we can choose if we want to give us red only or full access of course I'll go for full access the full ID and you just need to press enter no need for advanced config unless you're using team drives here I'll use no because I'm working in incognito mode copy paste Of course, it will say this app isn't verified because, of course, I'm not a verified developer. No worries here. And here is our key. We need to copy this key and paste it here. And voila, this drive is configured. Of course, this is not a tune drive, so I press it then. Uh, yes, it's okay. So here is our drive called Socialist Forever. Now our clone part is done. Now what we need to do next is we need to mount this drive locally. So for that we will go to we don't need our clone browser here. We need our clone mount. So what we will do is we will download this file and we will install it. Of course I've already installed this, so I won't be installing it again. And here we need to take the zip and again go back to your initial our clone directory take this and extract it here and depending on your system most of our systems are 64 bit so take this and place it here after this is done we again need to go to powershell so it's already in our clone so no issues here so what we need to do is run our NSM, NSSM so what we will do is we will run this command dot slash and this system dot exe oh. Oh, I lost I forgot the command let's see here this this we need to extract here open powershell yes i need to type dot ns system install here so the path will of course be the same copy this and paste it here startup directory again will be the same copy paste so here what we will do is we'll copy this command we'll open up a notepad that way so what we need to do is we need to change this username so current username is home and x should be replaced by our drive letter i will use the drive data e here and g drive should be replaced by your drive that you entered in our clone what was our drive name it was socialism forever let's verify it again mm, here socialist forever copy this and paste it here of course you can rename it to anything you like but you know so cut paste again i will rename the services to socialist forever exit action delay restart by you know this much install service install successfully dot start socialist forever so okay <laughs> we enter the startup directly wrong the issue is there it will work now. Start socialist forever. Okay, it says it's completed. Let's see. Here we can see our drive. Socialist forever. Of course, my Google Drive is currently empty, so you cannot see anything here. And here, when I stop the service, it's gone. When I started, it's here. Of course, the service will start up automatically on every reboot, so you don't need to worry about that. 
So anything that you place here will appear in Google Drive and of course anything on your Google Drive will appear here. So basically it's useful if you are using team drives which have unlimited storage. It works great for those services. And thanks to this red post which guided me and this guy who helped me create uh, the project on Google. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a good day.